Hey guys, what's going on? Lucky here, currently at the shop working on, what are we working on, Mark? Today we were working on, we had lunch. We had a wonderful very... lunch at the Red Robin. Oh, well, all right, yeah. then. Pulled pork and hamburger, do those go together? I don't think so. Hey, leave a comment and let us know, does pulled pork hamburger sound good? It's like swine and cow, do they go together? I don't think so. I know they're not friends on the farm. <laughs> Just saying. Just doesn't sound like it goes together. I've had pulled pork sandwiches and I've had mini hamburgers. I am a hamburger connoisseur. I don't think I would ever put pork and burger together. Is that the same as feeding nuggets to your pet chicken? Ooh, yeah. Just doesn't seem right, does it? Anyway, uh, we've been working on the Merc today. What did we get done today? Uh, oh, I'm gonna, uh, let me show them the hood. The psych. Oh, check this out. I love doing this. Ready? That's right. That's right. Look at where that bumper's lined up. I'm not going to say I have OCD, but he does. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so that's handled. Most of the rust in the roof is fixed. Floors are looking good. Um, shifter, gonna give you a little bit of a hint as to where direction this car is going. And low and slow is not one of them. Nope. Low, for sure. Slow, maybe not so much. Either way, this is going to be a fine blend of nostalgia yep. and technology. LEDs all up here. Yeah. Otherwise, that would have come all the way down to just a little window. It'll all be black. But then we can maybe put a couple of arrows up here in a hybrid indicator if it's not in the screen already. You could also move it up a little bit. But no, I think that's the spot. Yeah. This is what we did today. Oh, so you did the OG. oh yeah, the OG instrument panel. This is analog at its finest. The lens that goes on this thing is actually glass. Oh, yeah. This one's plastic, but here's something this car's never done. 110. 110. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, actual glass, dude. Yeah, careful. And that's like, I think that's the painted that on like there. That. Yeah, yeah. Pretty cool. And then think. that goes inside of this thing. Yeah. But we did a couple of changes. As you can see, there's some technology on the back. And touch screen on the on the front. We're gonna oh. paint that all black. I have it powder coated. Clean up some of those radiuses. They're just driving me crazy. Potentially, we could hook up the LEDs. That's re that's the reason this is down. There's actually LEDs in the touch screen right here. Um, we're gonna either hook up the LEDs for left and right blinker and high beam, or put a couple of arrows, some vintage arrows up there for the high beam indicator. So once again, 
it's a touch, it's a cross between technology and uh, a shout out to old school. Yeah. Yeah, and this is the Holly seven inch, seven inch Pro yep. Dash. Yeah, with cool. a GPS, so super accurate. It will clearly state when we are driving the actual posted speed limit. Yeah, and it'll say, yeah. yeah. So, more to come on that. Yeah. There's actually more to come on this whole deal. The whole theory behind this quick little video was to let you know that we are putting together a somewhat polished video on this build because there's so much going on. Usually most of the vi videos I do here at the shop are this is actually what I did yesterday or today or I'm gonna do tomorrow. Like what's in the box, like you know this car. If something changes on that car, you'll know about it tomorrow, potentially, <laughs> or next week. This has been a much longer term project um, I've had a ton of help from my friends, the gas rat guys, your dad specifically, with his influence. Yes, first time. And, yeah, yeah. And uh, oh, now would be a good spot to put me at your wedding party, your son's wedding party. Oh, yeah. Talk about mechanic out of place. That was like a Cajun. You cleaned up all right, Cajun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you had a collared shirt on. You had a collared shirt. Uh, no, I had the collared shirt on. Okay. Yeah, I have a collared shirt I wore it that day. Either way, it was a good time. That video is coming soon. I don't know, within a month or so probably. Be close soon. Gonna be uh, polished up a little bit. And we're gonna try and do one really decent video that's entertaining a month or every other month and still do all the fun stuff in the middle. Either way, that's the hookup. Uh, future projects, 59 Dodge. What do you do when you got an old 59 Dodge? Oh, that's right. You put it on a later model chassis that's four wheel drive. <laughs> Customer clearly stated, I would like to have an automatic, I would like to have power steering, and I want to put big wheels on it because I like the way it looks. That's all he said. And I was just like, oh, I can do all that. Maybe not in a weekend, but by putting in a 360, automatic transmission, transfer case, four-wheel drive. This is a relatively well-maintained power wagon, same wheelbase as that. We're going to do a body swap, give him some of the technology, some power steering, some power brakes, and some four-wheel drive, and he can put any size tire on it he wants. Um, either way, it seems like the simplest way to do it. Look for this in upcoming videos. But um, that's it. It's Sunday. You know what they say on weekends. Work on your own buckets. That's what we did all day today. It's the end of the day. I'm hungry. We're going to get a snack. Yes, we are. And it's hot. I have cold beverage. It's hot in California right now. That is all. Should we drive the crown hit? Sounds good. No air conditioning, not driving it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. See you later. Say goodbye, Mark. Later.